Hello, Dumelang, San Bonani, Molueni, and a warm welcome to the Maths Genius Video Tutorial Series brought to you by SABC Education. In these tutorials, we help you unleash the mathematical genius in you by showing you key mathematical concepts and how you can master them for success like a true genius. Today we're going to be looking at how to solve simultaneous equations. So we're going to look at A, the elimination method, and B, the substitution method. Substitution method. Right, so we've got two equations that are equation one and equation two. So we're saying that there are simultaneous equations in that the value of x is the same in both equations and the value of y is also the same in both equations. So a, a rule of thumb when you're dealing with simultaneous equations, equ equations in general, is that the number of equations should be greater than or equal to the number of variables. So whenever you're dealing with equations, the first thing to check is to say, how many variables do I have? and how many equations are there. Because you find that if you have one linear equation and then you have something like x plus y is equal to two, and somebody says solve. So you find that you will never get the exact solution to this. Because if you're gonna solve this, it will be x is equal to two minus y. So it means your answer is being expressed in terms of y, but it's not the exact solution. So for you to get an exact solution, you need a second equation. Why? Because there are two unknown variables. So it's always important for you to figure that out. Now if you look in our case here, we have two equations and two unknowns. So we are fine, right? Now let's look at, uh, at that equation, uh, those simultaneous equations now. Now using the elimination method, right, A, we want to eliminate one of the uh, one of the variables here. Yeah. So for me, I'm going to eliminate x in two. There's no rule to say you should eliminate in the first one or the second one. It's up to you to say which one is easier for you. For me, the reason why I'm going to eliminate x in two is because I can just get rid of the negative and I have an x which has no other uh, special coefficient, right? So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to bring in negative four to this side, I'm gonna take x to that side. That will solve my problem for me, right? So, it's gonna be four y plus four equal to x. So that means that's the value of x in one, right? This is from equation two. Right, so what I've simply done is, I have evaluated the value of x. So I'm going to say now, because I know the value of x with respect to y in equation two, I'm gonna take that and, sub and, and substitute in, in equation one, right? I'm gonna substitute in equation one. So this is what I'm gonna do now. Whenever there's an x, I'm replacing it with four y plus four, which is actually eliminating x, right? So two times, this is in one, okay, let me write it, in one, in equation one, two times x, but instead of writing x, I'm going to write four y plus four, right? Minus three y is equal to 12. So by so doing, by replacing the x with the four y plus four, I've actually eliminated x. And now I have one equation with one unknown. So that is the situation I wanted. 
Right. Now that I've, I have this, then it's now a matter of simplifying, right? And adding and subtracting like terms. So 2 times 4y would be 8y plus 8 minus 3y is equal to 12. So I've removed the brackets. Then the like terms, 8y minus 3y will give me 5y. 12 minus 8 will give me 4, right? So 5y is equal to 4. Then dividing both sides by 5, y is equal to 4 over 5. So what we've done is we made x the subject of the formula, and then in equation 2, then we substituted the value of x in equation 1, and we use that to get the, for, the value of y. Now that we know the value of y, we can use this relationship, right? Where we made x, we can use it to find the value of x. So 4y plus 4 is equal to x. But now we know the value of y. So 4 times 4 over 5 plus 4 equals to x. So now it's just a matter of multiplication. 4 times 4, it's 16 over 5 plus 4 equal to x. But now, for you to add fractions, remember this is the same as saying 4 over 1. For you to add fractions, you have to have the same denominator. So, I am going to multiply it by 5, by 5, so that I have 5 and 5. So it's 16 over 5 plus 20 over 5 equal to x, which implies that 16 plus 20 over 5 is equal to x. And 16 plus 20 will give you 36. So it's 7 and 1 over 5 equal to x. That is your uh, value for x. So actually, we used the substitution method. This was the substitution method where we said x is the subject of formula and we eliminated, right? We eliminated using substitution. But now, let us look at the elimination method on its own, right? Where we play around with the coefficients of x and y to eliminate one. So I'm going to illustrate that on this part of the board, right? Where you have your original equation, now this is the elimination method. Elimination method. Where we say 2x minus 3y is equal to 12, that's equation one, and negative x plus 4y is equal to negative 4. That's your equation 2. So what we're going to do here is that we're going to try make one of these combinations equal. So if it's 2x, I want to make this 2. So that if I add them, I get 0. Or I can play around with this, get the lowest common multiple, and if I add or subtract them, I get 0. So the easiest to do is for me to multiply equation 2, the whole of equation 2. If I multiply it by 2, I'm going to get a number that will make me be able to eliminate x. So I'll rewrite equation 1, 3y is equal to 12. Now, multiplying this, it will be negative 2x plus 8y equal to uh, negative 8, right? Now, because the signs are different, if I add these two, I am going to get zero. So if I add the two, 2x plus negative 2x, I get zero. And then if I add the two, negative 5y plus 8y, I'm going to get positive 5y. 12 plus negative 8, I'm going to get 4, right? So 5y is equal to 4, where if I divide, I divide, y is going to be equal to 4 over 5. Now, once you've got your value of y, then you can choose to say, can I, do I want to eliminate it in 2 or do I want to eliminate it in 1 so that I can get the value of x? I'm going to eliminate, I'm going to substitute it in, substitute in 1, right? I'm substituting y in 1. Right? Let's use 2 actually. Right? That's my preferred one. Let's use 2. So negative x plus 4 over 4y. So here, I've replaced the y with 4 over 4 equal to negative 4. Like that, right? 
So if you do your calculation right, you find that x is going to be equal to 7 and 1 over 5, which is the same as what we got with the substitution method. So this is the elimination method, and the one that we started off was the substitution method. But you find that in the substitution method, you do eliminate, and also in the elimination method, you do substitute. So it's a matter of you choosing which one is best for you, which one do you understand better. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Unleash your mathematical genius today. If you have any maths questions, you can post them for free on www.mathsgenius.co.za or email them to info at mathsgenius.co.za.